Okay, so now that we have our graphics uploaded, we can go ahead and we can take a look at how the application works. Now I've gone ahead and I've done a few manipulations. You notice um, I've moved the start button up. I've actually shrunk the window itself and I've set these to the default of one and added an additional button where I have bet all and I've actually changed the original bet button to just plus one so it increments at a plus one. So if we go ahead we take a look at it I can add plus one plus one for a bet or I can add bet all which sets the default at 10. And then adding additional one actually recycles it through down to one. I've also set the lines down to the default of one which again I'll go over as well and then when I click the start button Let's do a fun thing. It goes ahead and it plays my little song that I have playing in the background and the stop button gets generated and then the start button comes back up when I click the stop button. So the only three files that I had to actually edit to make sure this additional functionality worked where the main CPP, the main page.h, in other words, the header file, and the uh, main window.cpp. And the main window.cpp can, most of us, I believe, was all found underneath custom game logic. Yeah. So underneath custom game logic folder, locate main window.cpp, locate main page.h, which is under pages, and main page.cpp. The first thing I did is I went ahead and I rescaled the window because in all honesty I didn't need it more than 600 pixels high. So if we go ahead we scroll up and then find where it says this dot set size I changed it I believe it was originally at 799 I changed it to 600 but my image uh, based on the background image I have that's actually 599 I just set it at an even 600 your standard 800 by 600 window back in the day. Next, what I went ahead and did is I had to edit the main page dot header file. And the only thing I, I actually had to do on this page, it was quite simple, is I added a pointer for this GK game click button function or object, my apologies. And uh, I added the pointer button bet all and nothing else on that. Next we come to the main page.cpp. This is where I edited content and added in additional buttons. So first what I did is I set this.bet equal to 1. I believe by default this is set at 10 so I set it at 1 because normally when you put money in you don't want to just throw it all away right, right off the back. And then I also set lines at 1, but that's up to you if you want to set lines default at 5 or lines default at 1. Next, what I did is I created a custom button for the start and the stop. So there's actually, instead of having a, as we see here, we have default, down, and disable. If we come over to the button start, I duplicated the button start right here all the way to the end and I pasted in or I copied it and then I renamed it button stop and then as you notice here I have this new uh, image called start hidden and also stop hidden so it basically just hides when I click on one and shows the other really simple straightforward um, when you add in the features right here this is actually the X value and the Y so on the page starting from the top left is 0 and going on to the right which I believe was 800 so 0 to the right is 800 and that's your X position 0 to the bottom which is 600 that's your Y position I additionally also brought in the button bet all this is actually dependent upon layers so you have to make sure you put the right buttons on the correct layers otherwise you may run into a few errors so I put the button bet all which was placed on the left side as we saw and then you have the next button so just keep stuff stacked whatever is on the left side just stack it from the top down to the right
So let's go ahead, let's continue on down. Did I add anything else? I believe I actually did. I moved the winnings and also the additional coin or additional amount that you have. So if we go ahead and run that, I had to move the uh, alignment right here for credits and winnings. So the text credits moved over, winnings moved over, and then these text items, I didn't move lines, but this text here and this text here and this text here got shifted over to the left so that it's kind of centered within the functionality that's being applied to it. And I believe that might be it, but let me just confirm to make sure there wasn't anything else that I actually modified in here. Oh, there was. There was one additional feature. Since we added the the buttons, the two additional buttons, we basically just add that functionality in. So in the void main page process with the GK game object and pointer to game, go ahead and find the button dot bet or button bet. And so on button bet we have uh, the bet is equal to 10 modulus or the bet modulus by 10 plus 1. That way it kind of loops through that nice little uh, up to the max of 10 and then comes back to 1. And then I added right below that the uh, additional if statement which pretty much mirrors the first one. If button bet all which we created here in main. If button bet all is clicked this dot bet equals 10. So it sets the max uh, counter. And then the last thing that I did is I went ahead and changed this. This originally said button dot start and I added a button dot stop to it. So simply changed from button dot start to button dot stop and that gives me my stop functionality. It was pretty clear pretty straightforward pretty easy when I was looking at it not a lot to change a simple fun project to play around with a game generated system thanks for watching and let's view it one more time let's bet all let's add five lines start stop